So I decided to bring something novel, which is this brand spanking new audio latent blend node. And what it does is allow us to blend between two latents, okay? YouTube, what's going on today, man? Listen, my name's Ryan. Welcome to my channel. I'm really excited here because I just found out, maybe I'm late to the party, but I just found out that there is a new audio, generative audio model available natively in Comfy UI. I just sprinted home, or I drove really fast home just to, just to set this up. I'm not sure if the, I haven't even checked if there's if there are other YouTube tutorials or not, but I'm just going to I'm just going to get just try to get this going right off the rip. So I'll, I'm going to walk through the steps of that I just took to set this up and try it out real quick, and then a few of the things that I just learned in literally the last 20 minutes. Uh, all right, without further ado, let's get right to it. It's this based on this blog post by the Comfy team. I will link it in the description. Uh, here we find the basic instructions, which are pretty simple. First, we update Comfy UI. I'll show you how to do that. It's a few clicks. Go to the manager, click update Comfy UI. Once it's done updating, click restart. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, but it's a simple. It should be as simple as that. If you run into problems, let us know down in the comments below. And subscribe to the channel if you or whatever or whatever whatever. Okay, next, we download the workflow below and drag it into Comfy UI. I've already done this as well, downloaded it right here and dragged it right into Comfy UI. This is it right here. Cool, cool. When you open this uh, for the first time with your brand freshly updated Comfy UI, it will prompt you to download this model. And when you do, save it to your checkpoints folder. Um, just write in the regular checkpoints folder and then this workflow should run like so. Something that I just learned is possible is, uh, let's see, load audio. Uh, let's do a load audio uh, upload from our friend Kosinka Dink's uh, video helper suite. Let's get Vesuvius V2, which is this crap I've all, I'm always using. It's, it's actually kind of cool. ACATS generated it with uh, Suno, I think. Let's just take like five seconds or so, 10 seconds. Okay. Um, VAE and code audio. Dude. Dude, audio to audio, dude, sick. All right, and then we trade that out for the empty latent here. And then let's run it so you can you can hear what, what comes out. But I noticed that it wasn't super close, just like when you do image to image, okay? When you do, um, set this to fixed, I hate that. Um, just like when you do image to image with a denoise of one and no control nets, it doesn't really look all that much like the input image and the only ways to really get it to to maintain any any of the characteristics of the input is either by using control nets or manipulating this denoise level here or you know other other techniques like ip adapters and stuff uh bang let's just so you can hear what that sounds like and then you can hear what this sounds like with a denoise of one not even close not even close also Um, oh, <laughs> I don't know if it knows about, I don't know if it knows about freaking. uh, here, let's do another one. Uh, I don't know if it knows about like bands or groups, um, or if it's more like, I guess we'll, we'll figure that out together. What's going on here? I want to save that anyways. Bang, 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 bang. Interesting. Very interesting, but nothing close to this. What we really want is we're going to the club. We're driving really fast. We took a bunch of Adderall. We don't know where our phone is. That's what we want. So let's see. Let's see if we can get something a little bit closer. Okay, it's it slightly resembles it. So th this is cool. It's uh, this is really really cool. I can't wait to play with this more. What I also learned just before firing up this video is that there is training uh, code, or at least ChatGPT told me there's training code. So I'm going to verify that and then report back to y'all with another video. 
editing Ryan here. You can tell it's me because I'm wearing sunglasses. I wanted to pop back in because that other guy is lazy and he's an idiot. And I felt that he wasn't really bringing anything new to the table, just dropping the stock audio workflow on you. So I decided to bring something novel, which is this brand spanking new audio latent blend node. And what it does is allow us to blend between two latents, okay? And we've got Vesuvius here. You know it, you love it, classic hot track. And then we've got Echoes of Rain. Beautiful, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And when we blend them together, we get something novel. Honestly, came, came out way cooler than I was expecting. I was super, super happy to hear that it was actually like, you know, like a song still. So that's like a, that's a new classic hot track. Just throw that on, on a, on a lo-fi work playlist. You'll be golden, golden. So that's not it. I did a standard latent blend where you can do this here, but I also, you know, I had to do it. I did flex audio latent blend. And if, for those who are familiar with my nodes, you know that a feature, and we can now make audio, audio reactive. So we could blend between the two latents according to the kick drum of something or any other data source like movement or brightness from a video or whatever. So just wanted to pop in, actually add something valuable to the conversation. Uh, yeah, I'll link to the nodes in the description. Give me a star on GitHub. I, 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 I like stars. Thanks. Bye-bye. Until then, subscribe to the channel, check out my other audio reactive stuff, because this is really like what I love to do in Comfy UI, is make audio reactive stuff. So to be able to natively generate audio, but in such a way that we can manipulate it, uh, is very, very exciting to me. So I'll be putting out more tutorials that spawn from, from the use of this, this new model that's now natively supported. Uh, so subscribe, I'm gonna do a ton of audio reactive stuff. Like I already, I already started over here. Um, with, with this other this other workflow that I'll be releasing very soon. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. My name's Ryan. Do whatever, whatever. Yeah, bye bye.